Hello everyone. I hope you all guys are healthy and safe. Dear students, today we are going to discuss muscular system. Unit eight, physical education of class eleven. Unit eight is fundamentals of anatomy, physiology, and kinesiology in sports. I already prepared two first videos of this unit, which is on uh, meaning of anatomy, physiology, and kinesiology, and another video on skeletal system. If you haven't watched these videos. You can watch. I have given the link of the these videos in the description. So today we are going to talk about the muscular system. In this video, you will know about your muscular system muscles. Okay. So first introduction of muscular system. First is muscles are bundles of cells and fibers. You can say the muscles are made up of cells and fibers. Another thing. Uh, next is muscles work in very in very simple way. all they do is tightening up that is contract and relax okay next point is muscles are attached to bones with the help of tendons which allow movements okay muscles are attached with bones with the help of tendons and with the help of this allow movement to the body next point is there are nearly 600 to 650 skeletal muscles in the human body okay it is not fixed it is near about 600 to 650 skeletal muscles in the human body okay the study of muscles is is known as myology it is very important it can be asked in this very short answer or it can be asked in the mcqs also the study of muscles is known as myology so this is the introduction of muscular system now let's know a little more about it now let's know about the functions of muscles which are the functions of muscular system so the first is movement what is movement uh, it is the main function of muscles the ability to move through nervous system okay with the help of nervous system our body and body parts are able to move so this is the first function next is good posture what is it muscles helps in maintenance of body posture and body position muscles hold the body posture throughout the day task without becoming tired okay it helps in make good body posture and uh, muscles hold the body posture throughout the day for the completing task next is circulation what is it the cardiac muscles and visceral muscles are primarily responsible for transporting or circulate blood or food from one part to another part of the body is very important our muscles also work uh, as a circulation for the circulation of blood and food for the one part to another part so the next is respiration what is it the muscular system helps to carry air oxygen come into the lungs and leave air carbon dioxide through the con uh, contraction and relaxation of the diaphragm okay the diaphragm is the part of respiration system and it helps and muscles are also help uh, in the respiration system uh, to carry uh, air oxygen and the leaving air leaving of the air carbon dioxide so the next is digestion what is it let's know about it smooth muscles control digestion and helps to move food from mouth to anus the muscles of hollow organ contract and relax to causes this movement which phases food through the gastro uh, gastro intestinal tract okay uh, so this is uh, it helps in the digestions also next point is storage muscles also helps in storage of uh, glucosion glycogen fat soluble vitamin carbohydrate loading etc it helps as a store house also for muscles next and last point is thermo regulation what is it let's know about it it is also an important function of muscle tissue that is generation of body heat muscles contraction within the body produce natural body heat when human body extract more than normal then the extra muscle contraction lead to a rise in temperature of human body and 
eventually to sweating so these are the functions of muscular system i hope you understood about these all now let's know the types of muscles now let's know about the types of muscle there are three types of muscles uh, let's know about these all one by one so the first is skeletal voluntary muscles what is it these muscles work according to will of a person these are uh, thus they are called voluntary muscles they work under the command of central nervous system c n s okay so the first type of muscle is skeletal voluntary muscle they work according to the will of a person and they work under the command of central nervous system so this is first type now let's know the next second type of muscle is smooth or involuntary muscles now let's know about it these muscles are involuntary in nature thus they are not controlled by desire of a person means we cannot control the work of these muscles thus work even uh, they work even when we are at sleep okay while sleeping also these muscles are working uh, these muscles are mostly found in lining of digestive tract and blood vessels okay these are mostly found at in the lining of digestive tract and the blood vessels so this is the smooth and involuntary muscles number 2 now let's know next third and the last type of muscle is cardiac muscle now let's know about it cardiac muscles are involuntary in nature but their shape is different from involuntary muscles means the cardiac muscles are uh, involuntary uh, involuntary in nature but their shape is not involuntary okay they are different in shape next is they are found only in heart and work throughout life of a person the cardiac muscles are found only in the human heart and they work throughout the human's life means they work regularly so these are the three types of uh, muscles so uh, i hope you understood about this muscular system that's all for today thank you be happy be healthy hey there subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon